Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Tina O'Brien, who plays Sarah Barlow on Coronation Street, has opened up about the shocking development in Monday's, July 31st, episode, Sarah was recently embarrassed in front of the Platts and the Barlows after her husband Adam publicly exposed her latest lie during a visit to the Cobbles. Adam learned that Damon Hay is the father of Sarah's unborn child when he covertly contacted the clinic about the recent prenatal paternity test. Sarah had misled him in the opposite direction with her explanation. Adam didn't immediately tell anyone about his discoveries, but he did go ahead with the surprise party at the bistro as if it were to reveal the child's sex. Sarah was shocked to find the statement it's Damon's when she opened the balloon box after his deceitful actions. Adam cut off all contact with Sarah and made it plain that their marriage will soon dissolve. Sarah's actress, Tina O'Brien, was recently interviewed by Digital Spy and other media outlets, maybe Sarah did, but I have my doubts. She had intended to get away with it, but things quickly escalated beyond her control. At first, she was willing and ready to give Adam the truth, but as Stephen started interfering, she found it more difficult to be honest, Sarah wished things would calm down so she could put it out of her mind. But how does one let go of such a memory? I have no idea what she was thinking, personally, I don't think it's something I could live with knowing I did wrong forever. Something like that must corrode at your very core. I'm sure Sarah's been going through a rough patch, I can appreciate that she may have had good intentions when she sought to conceal the facts, but we all know how it usually turns out. I have no idea what you're talking about. It caught everyone by surprise. It was a fascinating day to film because Sarah experienced such a wide range of feelings on that particular day. When she stepped in, she was fully aware of the reveal party, but she had to act like she was caught off guard. She was feigning astonishment and shock Sarah was mortified, embarrassed, upset, and afraid when she discovered the balloon box. Clearly, she had no idea of its origin. Who or why had placed it was unknown to her. She felt nauseous and disoriented, with no idea what was going on. No. Sarah is the typical upbeat one, while he works as a lawyer. Though he occasionally loses his cool, his demeanor is generally calm. This is so unlike him that she would never have expected it. Sarah is probably aware that her marriage is gone but she's holding out hope that she may convince Adam otherwise. But if their mutual mistrust was already dead, this might be the final straw. A part of me thinks, well, Sarah behaved appallingly, despite the fact that what Adam did was out of character and exceedingly harsh and vicious. Those who live in glass homes shouldn't throw stones, and all that nonsense, Adam may have acted badly, but Sarah was just as guilty. Perhaps, in some perverse manner, it encourages similarly awful behavior. I don't think she stopped caring about Adam because of that. She really misses being with him. No. If Sarah is being completely honest with herself, I think she secretly longs for the thrill or peril she formerly experienced. But now that she has been through so much, she knows that it wasn't worth the trouble. Perhaps now she has a clearer idea of what she really wants, her family and her life on track, but whether or not she will actually get those things is still up in the air, not at all, in fact. That woman is a nightmare, too. She has accused you of hurting her, cheating on her, and otherwise mistreating her. We weren't together. He says angrily. Her defenses go up pretty rapidly. She's not just taking the high road by apologizing, she's throwing some shade, I get that, but she needs to learn when to hold back. Obviously, things don't work out. But it's too early, too much has already transpired. Adam, of course, will pay zero attention to what she has to say, Sarah, I think, is genuinely terrified. Despite everything that had happened, she was certain of one thing, she had an early ultrasound and saw this pregnancy. Whether the baby was Adam's or Damon's, she knew she adored this new life developing inside her, something about having a kid just connected with Sarah, and she wanted one badly. She desperately wants this baby despite her extreme anxiety, Sarah is aware of this fact. She considers calling him, but then she remembers what she's done and knows it's too late to ask for help. 
she must handle this by herself, this is a big deal in her life, in my opinion. She's tougher than she gives herself credit for, and she's extremely strong. She's been through a lot, she lost her kid, Billy, so she's not afraid to be on her own and get through this, Sarah would probably put a lot of the blame on herself. She might blame herself, or the stress she was under, thinking, maybe without even knowing it, I caused so much stress that the pregnancy was doomed from the start. It's fascinating because of the depth of feeling surrounding the topic of miscarriage. You've lost the baby is something I've heard a lot, and I find it to be a fascinating comment. There are many causes of stillbirth, but to be informed you have is devastating, Sarah would blame herself if something like that occurred. Whether or not that's the case, newborns do unfortunately die for a variety of reasons. It's also possible that the pregnancy wasn't viable to begin with. I don't think so. I have no control over the final product, that belongs solely to the writers. I think they still care deeply for one another, Adam has a touching moment with his grandfather. Ken is attempting to describe his relationship with Deirdre, noting that although they went through many ups and downs together, they were always one other's person. Though I hope Sarah and Adam are meant for one other, I can't say for certain that they belong together. Perhaps too much time has passed, necessitating a new beginning, IT would make me happy if they couldn't be together despite their want to be. The thought of Sarah or Adam going out with someone else, having things go wrong, and then almost getting back together is fascinating to me. As for me, I've enjoyed every minute. It's been a lot of fun for me. It's been hectic, but I'm working with wonderful people and having a blast, intriguing since usually there's a story behind why things like this occur on TV. It's not uncommon to assume that the girl is cheating because she is a mistreated wife, been fascinating to demonstrate that people don't always act morally virtuous when they do anything. She sees the moment, for better or worse. Sometimes life is like that. A germ of an idea has obviously been planted, in my opinion. Sarah has a lot on her plate right now, that much is obvious. Sarah was taken aback by Stephen's casual attitude at the time. She was shocked by his actions and exclaimed, Oh my God, you are quite ruthless and brutal. I believe they put that away for later use. Sarah is now avoiding any such extremes in her thinking. However, it may serve as a catalyst in the future, causing her to question her trust in Stephen, but Stephen has always spoken up for Sarah, he has never neglected Sarah's needs. He was the one who originally took her to Milan. Sarah is a little bit blinded by his goodness to her, and as a result, she fails to notice the evil side of him that other people do. IT will be quite interesting because I have absolutely no idea how this narrative finishes. Know of how it all wraps up, I know I'll be devastated if and when Todd, Boyce, who plays Steven, decides to quit the show, the Platts are a winning family, so I really hope this pulls us even closer together. Laughs. That it inspires a sense of we need to be together and we need to work through this together would be wonderful as well. Particularly if Sarah is going through a divorce, Thanks for watching this video please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.